Want to see something funny? So I put, I picked up the wet floor sign. So now he won't know the floor is wet. Think he's gonna slip? Let's see. Is he gonna slip? He is. Gonna yeah! Slip. Got him! Somebody should do something about this wet floor. Hi everybody, I'm Max Scoville, and today on our Strive for Five challenge, I'll be playing Hitman 3, a game I've had some practice in, but this time I'm playing for keeps, and entry in the International Secret Society of Real Video Game Hitmen. That's right, Max, but if you want to join us, you're going to have to pass the annual Hitman exam and achieve the top ranks in all five of these highly specific challenges, which I will put in front of you now. Now, Max, this is your mission if you choose to accept it. Do you choose to accept it? I'm ready. Let the test begin. I feel like I could blend in anywhere. Presented by Five Hour Energy, the official sponsor of Getting Stuff Done. Let's go to wine country. Your first task today is to make one of your victims or literally anyone, slip on a banana peel. That's it? I think you can do this. So walk us through your plan here. Who exactly I'm, are you targeting and why? I'm gonna make this guy fall on his behind with my banana. Okay. And hopefully he doesn't see me. But first I'm going to attract his attention with a jingle of coin. <laughs> Wait. Yeah, oh! we got him, ha ha! All right, so we got one dude, he's down. Is there a box in here? Can I hide him in here? Uh-oh, I'm just gonna make it look like he got real sleepy after having too many cups of tea or something. Okay, I'm gonna put on his costume. All right, now I look like some sort of action mime. <laughs> okay, what's my next objective? We need to hide five bodies in a bathroom stall. Okay. I'm actually gonna remove this. Aha! I bet you did not recognize me. Perfect, okay, so now, here's a nice oh, big, oh, look, look at this big this. bathroom. This is good. Yeah, sorry, we need some privacy in here, buddy. Mm -hmm. Okay. See, that's the problem with turlets, is they're a real hazard sometimes. You might just get a big gurgle in there when you're trying to take a whiz. That is, first of all, that is a huge European toilet. Can we take a look right? at that? Let's take a this look is, at that. We're actually in Argentina. This is the Mendoza Winery. They're known for their Malbec. Okay. This is going pretty well so far. You're about 40% done with this challenge right now, which is nice. We need about three, three more people. What are you doing that for? Why'd you run that? Oh, I'm causing a real ruckus. This man is, uh, he hates, uh, water waste. The big one. You have a brick? Where'd you get a brick? I, I found it. Okay. No judgment. How I did that man hear that all the way over there? He's got super hearing. You think I can nail him from all the way over here? Give it a shot. I think you could do it. Hold on. And go. Here. Oh, so we've got three. We've got three guys in there. Yeah, let's get the Schumann. We need two more. Why don't you try the Four. firework? That's a great idea. Let's get everyone's attention. Hey guys, there's a real, <laughs> a real spectacle happening down the hall here. They, he's really curious about that. So the problem with fireworks is that sometimes they just give you head injuries. What do we got? Nothing good. Nothing good here. This is a business bathroom, my friend. This is where they, when they do all like the wine spreadsheets. Not only do I waste water, I also waste paper. Look at this mess. Well, luckily there's no one around, so I can just wallop him. Well, I went to punch him, but whatever. Okay, so... All right. Time pick? to make these bathroom boys go to go to town over here. This actually worked out really well for you. That is five men in a pile in an Argentinian winery bathroom. You far exceeded any expectations we had today. Your next challenge, sir, if you choose to accept, which you must, is to change disguises five times. Okay, well, I could, I could probably do that. I mean, stealing all the clothes, that seems like a pretty good, easy thing to do. I'm gonna go down here, Wee! All right. So I need to do four more costume changes? Yes. Okay, so I really liked that beret. I thought it was very fetching. It is good. I enjoyed to wear it. Okay, what are you gonna do here? Just smack him. Okay, that's one way to do it. All right, so disguise number two. Beautiful. Oh, there's a lot of great costumes up here. Unfortunately, most of them are not in my size. As much as I wish I could put on a fetching evening gown, it doesn't seem to be in the cards for Agent 47. They also have secret facilities. Oh, this is where they keep all the wine cold. Oh, what's this? Oh, we got some clothes. Ooh, I'm a scuba diver. 
Oh, you know what? This this one is so special that I'm gonna give it to you. You didn't actually kill anyone for it, but uh, I'm a big fan of this outfit. Want to see something funny? Check this out. So I put I picked up the wet floor sign. So now he won't know the floor is wet. You think he's gonna slip? Let's see. Is he gonna slip? He is. Yeah! Got him! Somebody should do something about this wet floor. <laughs> Somebody should put a sign down, really. There is another costume. So that's four. Is that four? Yes. I've always wanted to dress up like a sommelier. Perhaps I can do so. I'm using my special hacking phone. There we go. I'm in. What are they looking at? Oh, is that the? They're looking at a very fancy one in there. How do we get that? I want to. I want to get a crack at that one. You know what I'm talking about? I. <laughs> okay. <laughs> huh? It's perfectly it's... normal for wine bottles to just jump off the shelves down here. Shh! It's time for a nice nap. I am wearing another costume. Did I do all the costumes? Was that it? I believe you did, sir. Your victory now is to drink that bottle of wine. I don't think I could do that. What's my next objective? To kill two targets with accidental kills. Let's see if I can get away with that. That might be a little bit tricky, but we'll see what we can do. <clears throat> this is perfectly normal guard stuff. Yeah, this is what they do. Now, if someone were to be knocked unconscious and then have a chandelier drop directly on top of them, that counts, right? Yes. Just right about here, I'd say. Perfect. And then... Whoops! Happens all the time. Now then, to deal with Tamara. So they're at, a, they're at a fancy winery, but she doesn't seem to be doing any wine tasting. I wonder if she's got expensive taste. I'm gonna disguise myself as a fancy waiter. Now, as a waiter is prone to do, I must wait. Hurry up, lady. Come on. Here we go. Come on, take those steps two at a time. Those are some very, that's a lot of steps. I would say too much steps for a winery where people are- Not a safe, not a safe place. Mm -mm. Not up to code. But I mean, they got banana peels, they got chandeliers, they got all sorts of dangerous stuff at this place. So what's the plan here? Well. Hmm. You did it right in front of her like that? Somehow she doesn't notice it when you do it like that, but. That's weird. Have a nice glass of the wine. Have some smoky green wine. Have some. What could possibly go wrong? It's got, yeah. How does she not see what's happening with that? That is a bad, there's no other cups are doing that. Oh boy, wow, she's not right. Well, this might, this might very well give her the pukes, in which case I will follow her and figure something out. Let's see how long it takes for her stomach to be like, that was not good. Oh wow, almost immediately. Now's your chance. All right, she's running off this away. Oh, there's the way. bathroom, I see it. There's the bathroom oh. right there. Are you gonna beat her to it? And hide out? Here we go. All right, please go away. Close the door. Is she thrown up? Huh? That is, you drowned her in her own vomit from wine with rat poison in it. Yeah? Okay, um, I don't know if, if any of that is an accident. Accident kill, it says it right there, accident. Total accident. Okay, technically correct. Uh, logistically, the game said it. It literally was an no. accident. No, no. But sure, if it counts, it counts. You get the points. You have moved up in the ranks, Agent Forty Five. Hell yeah, Agent Forty Five. And you will soon be on your way to be a real hitman. Okay, so now, now all we need you to do, Agent Forty Five, is escape from this horrible winery full of, I don't know, piles of. Bodies in the bathroom and uh, banana chandeliers. Sneaky man, sneaky. I'm about man. to be even sneakier if you can believe it. What are you gonna do in here? Oh, you put on the nice flannel. That's the best way to disguise. Oh, look at this! <laughs> this wet seal of a man. How do I? <laughs> there we go. All right, Kawabunga, cannonball, I escape. Woo! There we right. go. Mission accomplished. 
Uh, Max, Agent 45, you did excellent work today. And with all five accomplishments under our belt, we welcome Max Scoville, Agent 45, to the ranks of the Hitman. You, is it normal to have like a bubble in your scalp? I wake up with about two or three scalp bubbles every single day.